preoperative x-ray of the clavicle plate. The fracture has since healed. The plate was prominent and was creating a pressure effect, especially with the use of a backpack. It's not, a, it's not infrequent that we have to remove these plates. And removing them is not so straightforward. Oftentimes, these screws have become embedded in the bone. The bone basically grows into it and in getting them out sometimes is a little difficult. Sometimes the, the screw heads will break uh, as they're being uh, twisted out uh, or sometimes the screw heads strip, period. Okay, we're doing some hardware removal today and we had to pull out uh, the high speed metal burr to get this baby out, but we're almost there. Thank you. Oh, here. We have Dr. Mora here doing a hardware removal. Why are we doing a hardware removal? We don't always have to. Uh, but this is the clavicle plate. The patient is very thin, and uh, and it was and any uh, pressure over this clavicle was causing him a lot of pain. So it's not easy, especially when they've been in there for a long time. But this is it. This is a, the removal of a clavicle plate. I made small incisions. Hopefully, it'll heal, heal faster. That's the plate. It's out. We're gonna clean things up. Dr. Moore here, removing, a, doing some hardware removal. It's it's not as easy as you think. Uh, screws break all the time, but fortunately for me, I'm used to working on old cars, so I know about how to deal with, with uh, these situations. You guys take care. Thank you so much.